Well, good morning, Calvary. Thanks for joining us today. My name is Robert. I'm glad to have you tuning in this morning. I want you to think back to when you were a kid or teenager, and I want you to think about the most foolish thing you did back then. What was it? Type it out in the comments below. I'm just kidding. You probably don't want to publicly share and rehash that, uh, unless it's a really good story you don't mind sharing. Then go ahead and type it out. But think about how much you've grown since then. Think about how much you've changed and how you act, how you behave, how you make decisions. And this is an important part of growing up. And the reality is that we all do this, but we all need correction in our life in order to make this happen. And see, Proverbs 22:15 says that folly is bound up in the heart of a child, but the rod of discipline drives it far from him. And I share this with you for two reasons. First, if you have kids at home currently, we need to remember that as parents, Discipline, in whatever form or fashion best works for your child, is essential to them learning how to make decisions and how to conduct themselves. And unfortunately, many people shy away from discipline because they don't want it to be seen as too physically aggressive. But discipline and correction can take many forms because the point isn't to harm but to teach and correct. So if you're in the phase of parenting kids at home still, remember the importance of discipline and correction and be intentional and consistent with that because we want to help our kids get the folly and foolishness out of their system in a timely manner. But I also share this with you today because the truth is that we as adults still have some folly in us as well. Hopefully it's less than when we were in our teen years, but it's still in there. And we need to remember that correction and discipline is needed in our life as well. And this can be in the form of, of some godly rebuke and correction uh, from our Heavenly Father, or it can even be in the form of correction from a friend or a loved one or even our, our boss. But if we remember that discipline exists to help us grow wiser and better, that it helps us respond more appropriately to it. So today I want to encourage you to be open to correction as things happen in your life because there's a good chance that it's there to help drive away the folly in your heart. So have a great and wise day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.